Hi, I'm George, the amateur in the wilderness. Today, I'm hoping to create fire with friction using the bow drill method and two bits of lime. This video is my first step in my journey in learning how to survive in the wilderness. This bit of lime wood I'm going to use as my half board. I cut it approximately 8 inches long, 10 to 15 mil thick, with a flat top and bottom and square off the side. I'll use this other bit of wood for my spindle. I've left these bits of wood probably three or four days to let them dry. To split the wood down, I didn't have an axe with me, so I just used a knife. I'll check just to see if it sits flat on the baseboard, see if I have to take any more off with the knife. Just in case it wobbles as you're drilling. I cut my spindle about 8 inches long, or roughly 2 hands wide. Once you cut your spindle, sharpen each end. Make sure one sharper than the other, the sharper end facing up into the bearing block, the blunter end facing down into the half. Remember to keep plenty of treats in your back pocket for any photo bombers. Use a slightly bent stick for your bow, approximately arm's length. Make sure you hook your cord on one end, take it down, make a notch, hook on the other end.
a compression into your half, approximately an inch in, halfway across, ready to take your spindle. For my bearing block, I use a stone with a little hole in to take the spindle so you can get extra downward force without creating any more smoke at the top end. Spend about a minute or so burning your set in uh, until you start getting black dust. I spent a little while trying to burn this set in um, unsuccessfully, so luckily I had a dry bit with me, so I used that instead. Once the set's burning, cut a V shaped notch catch the ember. In my tinder bag I normally keep a little bit of dry grass, some straw and some King Alfred cakes also known as coal fungus, normally found on fallen ash trees and fallen silver birch. It catches the spark or ember really well and glows for a very long time. I'll put a bit of birch paper underneath the half to catch the ember to transfer it into the bundle.
I was struggling with this a bit, so I shuffled up the spindle and cut a new impression into the half of my knife. found when I do get nimble with this wood, it tends to be a really good one. I don't know if it's down to technique, but I really struggle with blowing this one. Um, I don't don't know whether it is something to do with most of the ember. It looked like it fell out right at the beginning there.
after all that, it, um, it's very disheartening when you finally lose it. <laughs> I gave it about half hour or so, and I called it a day. I went home and oven dried another set, and this is that attempt. 